Hi, everybody. This is Jay Garrison, the Chess Ambassador, with Grandmaster Avatik Gregorian. Welcome. <laughs> Hello, Jay. Hello, everyone who is listening now to us. Awesome. So uh, we're going to talk today um, about uh, about your chess career and uh, what what you did growing up playing chess, uh, how far you got, and what you're doing now because uh, you, you've retired as a professional chess player. Um, and some of the projects you got going, all right? Right. 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 Yeah. Awesome. Great. So uh, the first thing, and I'm sure everybody's going to want to know, uh, when did you learn to play chess? Okay. Uh, I learned chess when I was very young. I was just four years old. My uh, father went to the war. It was Karabakh War with Azerbaijan. Uh, so uh, when I was four, my father left his family and went to war. So I was, uh, it was very bad times for my country. We had not electricity, we had not water normal. Oh so God. whenever we had just two hours of water, uh, my mother should do everything. So she would cook, clean everything. And my grandmother decided to entertain me, to teach me some games. And most of them was board games like backgammon cards. And also she teach me to play chess. <laughs> so it was my grandmother who teach me chess. I was four years old, uh, but somehow, I don't know why, I, I started to win my grandmother very fast in chess. Uh, so uh, after a few months, we just stopped to play chess and switched to backgammon. <laughs> uh, but I was six when my father came back from the war, and he already saw that, okay, I'm playing already chess, I can move, I can checkmate, yeah? And my father is a big chess lover. And also, uh, still, still now plays in chess.com, he has around 2,400 LO. Wow. Yeah, he's a big chess lover. So he said, let's go to chess. I said, let's go. <laughs> and he took my hand and took to the chess school. So I was four when I started to play, when I learned to play chess. And from six years, I went to school, to chess school. So you were six when you started to take it seriously and grow as a chess player. Yes, right, right. From six, I, everything went right. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how... You, and you and I have talked about this in the past. Uh, you talked about your first tournament. How did that go? Oh, <laughs> I remember the, the, my first game. I remember first game I was excited, yeah, and I lost. I remember, remember around first 10 moves. Yeah, I can't remember how many games I remember in my mind, but that game I remember. I remember what's happened, uh, and I lost my first game. And maybe if I didn't lose that my first game, uh, maybe I would not be Grandmaster. So that first game when I lost, uh, many people probably would say, okay, I want to stop it, I don't like it. But in me was uh, exactly the different. I said, what, I lost? Hmm? Okay, okay, next time I will win. And uh, because of that character, every time I was uh, defeating an important game or I was losing some important tournament, in me was, okay, next time I will win this. So that uh, process took me until Grandmaster. <laughs> Because I would never resign. I just, I, I, I had a bad tournament. Next year, I will have a better. So it was like that. So, so it, it, it fueled you. It, it made you want to work harder to get better. Right, right, right. Awesome. So at what age did you become a GM? Uh, I was 18 when I, when I, I was 18 when I got my three GM norms and I, and I had two, uh, 2,500 LO. And it took around three months until FIDE uh, confirmed it. So I was uh, already eight, 19 when I got that norm officially. But at the 18, I had already that done. So, so you already met all the requirements. You just had to wait for FIDE to yes, right. say it was right. okay. Yes, right. <laughs> awesome, awesome. And so uh, what was your peak rating? How high did you uh, end up going to? Oh, it was 2,623 around. Uh, and exactly at that moment, I feel that on my around my peak, I felt like I I want to move to move from professional chess. <laughs> it was <laughs> that time. Okay, okay. So, uh, and what did you? That's when you started coaching. Is that right? Yes, yes, exactly. At that moment, I felt that I enjoy more more when I teach someone. I enjoy more when I'm uh, getting happy from. Because when you play uh, yourself, you play chess, you are happy when you win. But when you have uh, 10 students, <laughs> you, are, you can you may be happy uh, 10x. 
So I started, I feel at times I started to be happy, to enjoy, to enjoy a lot when my students have successes. So it take me to, and also because of uh, contribution is uh, on, high, in, on the topest of my values hierarchy, mm. I felt like I enjoy more to help people to get their dreams, to get their goals, uh, to work with them and to get them uh, to the top and to make their uh, dreams, goals to become true. So that oh. moment I stopped to play professionally and I decided to become a coach. Okay, awesome. So... Uh, you, uh, you've actually had some students of yours just recently have some good successes, right? Uh, right, right. Uh, uh, I got around more than 10 Grand Masters now. And by the way, one of my students, he's playing the last round in Reykjavik Open. And if he win, he become my another Grand Master student. I love he it. Has two second, uh, yeah, he already had two second Grand Master norms. Uh, so to the last two rounds, he needed, he needed to win. Yesterday, he won against Grandmaster with black pieces. And if he win today again, uh, so he will become my uh, next uh, Grandmaster student. That's awesome. That's awesome. Student, yeah, like it's uh, uh, find more and more, which is my goal now to have more Grandmasters. But my biggest goal is really to have a uh, world champion student. If not, not like uh, to beat Carlsen, but to be world junior champion, world young junior what, young champion because that was my dream and very often you know yeah like parent has some dreams and he uh, didn't get that dream he wants that his child to do that right so myself uh, when i had dream to become world champion uh, i feel like i need some of my students to do it i could not do i could not become world champion i tried many times but i was i failed so I, my dream is that one of my students become world champion so you you're, you're obviously working with some of the the top players in the world, um, but do you uh, do you also work with amateur players? Uh, with uh, yes, yes, I do, I do. Uh, not very often, but for me, uh, when I work on chess and with student, for me it's very important that I enjoy all the process, and I will enjoy the process only that time when student has definite goal. Mm -hmm. So if someone. Uh, even he is international master, yeah, and he, just, he said, I just want to play chess, I just want to learn chess, that's not interesting for me. For me, it will be more interesting if uh, someone your age come and say, you know, I'm going and playing in that club, we are drinking beer every evening, and there is one guy who is beating me, I'm, I have goal to win him. And I have definitely goal, I want to work and, and uh, win him. That's definite goal. That's more important for me. I have more fun when students have definite goal. So someone wants to become uh, his definite goal and he understands why he wants to get 2,000 LO. He wants uh, to beat his uh, club, yeah? It's fine. Just I need that someone has definite goal and I help him to take to that goal. Awesome, awesome. So uh, that, that's kind of uh, a formula for success, correct? Uh, yes, yes. I believe that everyone need to have a strong goal and have a strong uh, answer to the question why. Why he needs that goal? Because if your question is weak, why you want to become Grand Master, if it's weak, it will not lead to the... Myself, uh, when I was 17, I thought I will become Grand Master in one year. Of course, no one believed. They said, come on, slow down. Uh, one year is not enough. Uh, but I said, no, no, one year, because I have very strong, I had very strong why. And my why was that my uh, sister, my younger sister, wanted to go to university uh, and to become a doctor. But in my country, that was very expensive. And I understood that I can help my, I, I can help my parents. I can uh, help financially them. And I understood that if I become a master, I can. So I had only one year, only one year, because next year my uh, sister should go to university. And if we could not afford, she would go to somewhere else and become some other profession yeah uh, to choose some other profession so i had one year to help the, to help her to make her dream uh, luckily uh, i could do that i became grand master she went to uh, the university medicine university she became doctor now she's famous doctor in my country and so that was my strong why why i need to, grant, to become grand master in one year and i believe everyone many many of my students asked me 
can they become international master? Can they become grand master? Can they do this? I said, yes, of course. You just need definite goal and answer to that uh, your strong question, uh, why? If your strong, if your question to that why is very strong, you can. Uh, I did myself for some things that no one was believing me. It means you can too. I am not better than you. So I believe that is formula of success. Awesome, awesome. So uh... um, to be to be a good coach, it's very hard thing, because uh, for being a good coach, it's not enough to be a strong chess player. Uh, you also sh- you you may have lots of knowledge, but you cannot teach to student. Yeah. So you should understand his language. For being a good coach, you should be very strong, a very good psychologist. And myself, I work a lot on this topic to feeling to feeling the student. And uh, for being, I believe, for being a good coach, uh, taking care of your family, that uh, I mean, the financial part, it should be the last priority for coach. The first priority, I believe, it should be uh, to help student and myself uh, I told my students whenever uh, my students goal don't become my goal I stop it so if uh, during the process my student uh, do something that I lost belief in him in him I stop it and myself like uh, I have a student uh, his goal is to get 2000 alloy in uh, five years I write in my notes I have a notebook where I write everyone's names and their goals. And everyone's goals become my goal. So, for example, uh, this year in January, with two of my students, uh, two Grandmaster students, they both had uh, 2,550. Uh, and they put a goal to get 2,650, just 100 points. And on that level, it's very hard. If you want to go from 1,700 till 1,800, it's, it's, it's easy. But from Grandmaster level, 100 jump, it's very hard, yeah? And I wrote on my notebook, I said, okay, I believe. You believe? And I was feeling that I believe in that more than they. But whatever, we make that goal. And uh, this is one of the biggest goals of uh, this year for me. To take my that's two students, because they are also my very good friends, they are from Armenia, to their... And when this is your goal, when this is a very important goal of coach, coach subconsciously, he will put lots of effort, much more effort than, than in usual. When there is um, not a lesson yet, coach un- unconsciously will go uh, to uh, some chess software and try to find something more than how he can push his student more. Uh, subconsciously, when a coach is watching some motivational video, he can say, okay, this needs to listen to my student because it can change something in his thoughts. Yeah? Everything started to become unconsciously when a uh, goal of student becomes goal of coach. I believe at that moment, even if coach is less experienced uh, than someone who is very experienced, uh, they will be in the same situation if uh, uh, the coach without big experience uh, uh, started to uh, to make his goal the student's goal. And it's becoming magic when a coach is experienced and a student's goal is his goal. That's, that time magic started to happen. When these both together combine, that, that moment magic uh, started to happen. And one of, many of my, one of my friends students saying, asking, how, how can you take all your stu- students to that level? How it's happened, yeah? Uh, the first thing of, okay, okay, I don't take everyone. It's because I told, yeah, I should believe in his goal. But when I believe in his goal, uh, I will do it. Whatever takes me, I will, I will make his goal come true. So uh, I believe when coach has these two things, uh, he is a strong psychologist, he is good in interest, and uh, his student's goal is very, very important for him. Uh, that, that, that time magic started to happen. Awesome, awesome. And so uh, do you think it's important for everybody to have a coach or for those that want to improve? Uh, of course, you can go to chess, you can improve chess without coach as well. There are lots of sources. But having a coach is a, is a very, very big shortcut. Myself, at that moment when I said I want to become Grand Master in one year, uh, can you guess what the, was the first thing I wanted to do? Uh, the first thing was uh, I, I tried to, around one month I was for, uh, looking for a coach. Okay. 
And it was, I had not so much time. I had one year, but it took, it took me one month for finding a good coach for me. And good coach for me, it was mean a coach who will believe in me. Because that time many people wanted to work with me. I was a young, talented guy. Many, many coaches wanted to work with me, but I wanted to find a coach who will believe in my dream to become Grand Master in just one year. So uh, even that time, yeah, on that level, from International Master to Grand Master, I needed coach. Uh, myself, when I stopped professional chess, when I was 2,620, I felt that for improving further, I need not coach, I need coaches. <laughs> I need more, more few coach who where one will work on opening one will work with middle game. Yeah, I understood that without coach is very very hard, especially for beginner players, for amateur players. Uh, many people underestimate the fact that how can help coach, how how much coach can help there. Unfortunately, uh, many amateurs uh, have bad experience with this, as they pay uh, to, to someone. And that coach who has not experience, he's just making money. He is uh, working with students not right. He's just uh, analyzing their game with engine, whatever engine saying. Uh, coach say, okay, this is the right one. And then student asking him question. I could do it myself. I can turn on the engine. I can do it myself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But uh, I believe if uh, anyone in his life had a good coach, he will prove my words that uh, coach is must and it's a big shortcut. And it's not in just chess world. If whatever you do, you want to become boxer, yeah? How can you become boxer without a coach? Yeah? Even world champion has boxer. Like, even if you are a businessman, if you are a president, yeah, at that times you have minimum consultants, yeah? Because mm -hmm. yourself alone is hard. So coach is a big, a very big shortcut. It's, it's possible without coach, but it's very hard. So the problem here, really, there is a problem to finding a good coach who is a really good coach, who didn't stop his chess career, or he is not a basketball player who just become chess coach uh, because he feels that there he can make money. So finding a real good coach, it's a problem in chess world because there are lots of chess players who just decided to become a coach and make money. So that's the problem. To find professional coaches is hard. But uh, there are many good coaches uh, in this world. Just it's, it's, You need to find them who are really good coaches. And one that believes in you. <laughs> yes, yes, right. Uh, that, that's a must for coach. If he doesn't believe in you and he just work with you, it's mean he just care of his money. Mm -hmm. So, I hear you have a, a, a book coming out. What is it going to be called? Yes, it's uh, going to be called uh, with our uh, website slogan, Right Mood, Right Move. I believe in this slogan so much. And uh, this is one of my uh, advices to my students. I told him during the game, Tell yourself lots of time, many times, say it right mood, right move, right mood, right move. What does that mean? I believe that right mood generates right moves. So when you are sad, uh, when you are not concentrated, you something bad happened in your life, you are not in a good mood, your moves will be bad. Your thinking process will be bad, which automatically will lead to bad moves. But when you are in a good mood, you are concentrated, you believe that you will win this game. You believe that you will get to your goal, yeah? There will be big difference in quality of your thinking process and automatically in quality of moves. And when there is a quality in thinking process and quality of moves, then the result is totally different. So uh, this is one of uh, the tips I use myself uh, in chess and in life. I advise to my students, uh, like forever, uh, wherever someone, some of my students make blunder, yeah? I tell them, whenever you make blunder, tell yourself, right mood, right move, keep it, keep it, don't worry. Okay, we did mistake, but keep, we keep the right mood. Many people, they are rook up, they blunder uh, one pawn, and they are getting so bad, in so bad mood, they are just crashed. But still, there was one rook up. Yeah, so keeping that right mood, going to the game with right mood, this uh, can increase quality of game so much that uh, many, many chess players, even professional chess players, grandmasters, underestimate it. Well, it what one of my students with whom we put our uh, target 2,650, 100 points in one year, I feel like he's playing very strong chess. He has lots of knowledge, he's playing very strong. So when I analyze with him, but during the game, he was weak. And we found out together that the problem was right mood. 
So we started a big uh, working process, most uh, like 90% of that our work was uh, on psychology. And uh, in five months, he increased his LO from 2,500. Now he's 2,600 already. Wow. So the road we have gone and it was, and it's become just because of that right mood. We did lots of work. He did uh, everything super. He was doing whatever I was telling him. And now he's coming, coming back to get to getting what is that right mood. So right mood, I think it's magic. It's super weapon that if chess player has this, uh, his res his results will go up. So the book uh, that I am working and uh, one of my friends who is also working with me in our chestnut project, he is uh, helping me with this. So we are writing a right mood, right move books, book which is about psychology, about right uh, right uh, mood chess psychology, and where will be also examples. So in similar situation, when someone had the right mood, what move he did? When someone has a uh, wrong mood, what, what move he did? It's about not, uh, not resigning. It's about fighting till the end. It's about not agreeing the rules and to be a real warrior. Yeah, and why Carlsen is so different from, from everyone? Uh, Carlsen, he, he, it is his word, he said, um, in every situation, try to find a resource for winning your opponent. He's such a strong fighter in his soul. It's become back end how, how he's so strong in chess. He's super psychology. And there are many, many grandmasters that if they analyze over the board, they are not so strong. Uh, but with their right mood, they can fight with the topest chess players in the world. So right mood is so, so important thing that are, it's uh, very much underestimated in the chess world. So I believe that book going to be revolutionary because it's proven on results. It's proven on my students, my friends result on my own, and this right mood can help also, not in just in chess, but in life, in whatever someone do. Awesome, and when, when is the book uh, due to be released? Uh, I, I very hope this year, there are lots of, lots of jobs that I'm doing, I'm like, like working, uh, waking up around 5 a.m. and working till the very late evening, lots of jobs done with our chess mood project and with my students, but I'm really working hard on this book as well, and I really hope that this year it will happen. Great, great. And uh, you also uh, started a, a website uh, with the same concept, correct? Right, right. Uh, we called it, uh, because the slogan was uh, right mood, right move, the motto that I believe, uh, automatically we tried, okay, chess mood. And we find that, okay, that website, that domain is free, and we called it uh, chess mood. So chess mood.com and with slogan right mood, right move. Because right mood is like chess mood. Yeah, what is chess mood? How to play chess mood right? Yeah. Why we created uh, it? Uh, most it's become uh, first everything's how we started. I just created a Facebook group uh, because I felt okay that if contribution is in topest on my value hierarchy and I want to help uh, other people to get their goals. Uh, and I can help uh, many of my students, right, to get their goals and everyone is so successful. I thought myself, why not uh, help more people? Because myself, when I was young, I wanted to become grandmaster. I got lots of help. I got lots of help from other people. And I appreciate and I will remember that everything, that every, everyone names, I remember everyone eyes uh, who helped me. And I felt that it's my time to help more people. And with that, I created a Facebook group where I, where I tried to help uh, people who want to get uh, whatever they want or just improve chess or enjoy chess. And there I, uh, I was trying to answer people's questions, give them tips, how to work there. Then I felt it's not enough. <laughs> I cannot do this alone because there are lots of questions. Also, we wanted to play with them, to analyze their games. And I talked about that with my, to my grandmaster friends who, has also, who had also good heart because for doing such a contribution, uh, without that hurt, you cannot do it, yeah? Because you do it for free, you do lots of things. Uh, and we came up with our team and we started to help chess lovers. We started to help answer their questions. So the Facebook group was also called Chess Mood. So it's become big, big, bigger, bigger. And we thought, okay, it's, it, it seems it's time. So we create a website as well. And then we created a website uh, around during the file, it take us five months, very tough five months. We created around uh, 20 hours of video content uh, with very high quality. We could do it, of course, like five grandmasters, yeah? They can do it in one year, 
to create a video course. But it took us five months because we put very high standards for quality. And throughout uh, four months with the Grand Master, we were still analyzing, polishing all the content. And the next one month, we uh, recorded the video course. We are, so we started to make a step-by-step -step video course. Uh, because one of the problems in the chess world right now, it, there are so many untrustworthy sources. Uh, many people, as I said, yes, someone is a basketball player or he just played and he find out that the um, so if he's coach, he can make more money and he's starting a coach. Now, many chess, uh, chess players, not chess professionals, just chess players, they, they are starting to make uh, video courses. And so they hire some marketing marketers or they know how to write some good words like crush your opponent's playing first move h4 for example yes <laughs> lots of lots of stuff like stuff like this and some amateur people are watching these nice words and they are okay let, let, let's let's go there and this is a big trap well, around a few weeks ago they released a book i was shocked e4 e5 king e2 like crush your opponent with king e2 yeah and people are okay this is interesting yeah and uh, with that, we wanted to stop it. So we wanted to create a place when people can come and from step by step go and to, do, to go to their goals. Uh, so we created our uh, website with our grandmaster team. We create a big content there and uh, what we created there, it was a, it's a place, of course coach, if you have a coach, it's, it's best. But it's a place uh, if you want to have mentors. If because coaching coach are expensive, yeah, and many people cannot afford that. So we create a place when you can have mentors. Myself, I was thinking if I was in some kind of other industry, I would love to have a mentor whom I could answer to, um, whom I could give my questions. The problem when I watch some courses in other uh, uh, fields of life, yeah, uh, the problem when you watch the course, you don't have uh, anyone to give your questions. And you don't know how to put your, your knowledge in practice. Right. So what we created in our chess mode is three parts. First part is you watch the course. So you got uh, theoretical knowledge, but it's not enough. There are many, many places in uh, chess worlds when you go, can go and find uh, courses. Okay, maybe even lower quality, but it's okay. Still, you can find some courses. But what then? <laughs> uh, so what we do... Uh, it's this first step when you watch the course. The second step is when you watch the stream. Uh, when our grandmasters, we play it, we play uh, online, but not just play, but we play with the material, with the knowledge that we are uh, teaching uh, students there. So if we are teaching Sicilian, during the stream we play only Sicilian to show them how good that everything works in practice. And also we, we play with different LO levels from 1,000 till 2,700, 800 in, in online, yeah? Uh, proving how it well works. Other, other someone who writes some nice, who make a nice course and make a good marketing words, like E45, King E2 win with this, yeah? They cannot do that because they will go online, they will play streams, they will be crushed, yeah? They cannot prove what, that it works. But we are so sure how this super works with different level levels, so we are putting in practice. And during the practice, we play, not just prove how it's good works, but also you know, we comment the games. So someone who has that knowledge, first, it will be very easier for him to memorize that knowledge. And second, he see more, more, more ideas because he know how to do it in a theoretical. But now he see how to put it in practice. And then the third step. When he go and start to play himself, when he go to, to use, to implement uh, this uh, knowledge himself, uh, he may face some problems. Okay, he did some move here, which was not covered in the course or what to do, yeah? Then there is a third part. There is a closed uh, group. Uh, soon this will be closed forum uh, for Chestnut Pro members uh, who can ask all their questions. And the, the super thing here is he will uh, get answer from directly from our grandmasters. Uh, oh. forums, forums are a good thing. You could post a question and you get answer, but you don't know who is answering it. Right. In our case, uh, someone has question, he get answer from the expert of that world, especially for expert who wrote that course. Mm -hmm. 
very often right now in our poll members uh, giving some question to me. What is the right uh, move in that opening, for example? Uh, there are many openings, of course, when you're a grandmaster, you know all of them. But uh, there are some openings when you are not expert, but your friend, uh, friend is expert. Every time I got a question, when I know my friend will answer to this question more deeply, I talk to my friend and say, hey, what do you think here? Even when I'm grandmaster, I, take, I try to do the things that all uh, questions get answered by experts. So here is what's uh, in chess mode. First is uh, theoretical knowledge courses. Second is stream. Uh, you see how it works. And then the third part when you, are, when you give questions. So you get uh, uh, our pro, chess mode pro members get access to that uh, close uh, group. And also there is monthly webinars during which also they can ask all their questions. So this is how it works step by step improving plan. And uh, this is proven method I have done with my students. And this will of course work with our Chessmood Pro members. Uh, everyone who follows these steps, uh, they will see what happened. We already have students who grow their LO 100, 200 LOs. So it's not magic. <laughs> if, I was if I did this for first time, I would say, okay, this is magic. Wow, this happened, this works, yeah. But myself, I'm not surprised because this has happened with my many students. So why it will not work with others? Awesome. That's awesome. And so I know that the site just recently opened. Do you have investors for that? Uh, yeah, we, it's, we opened it two months ago and we uh, went a long uh, way already, but all this done without investors uh, because uh, myself, I don't want investors. Uh, as I said, yeah, when uh, you have a coach, it should be money for coach should be the last priority if you want to become a good coach, yeah? Mm -hmm. But because investor, okay, investor is his profession. I don't blame him, of course, yeah, because for him, he's an investor, yeah? For his goal is to make more money. But I don't want to bring to, to the board uh, someone who cares about money more than uh, chess players. Uh, so uh, many people was asking me because I, when, whoever said, okay, grandmasters are doing some chess project, they are interested. Right. Because, yeah, uh, every investor understands that if someone is doing some startup, he is trying to find some startups when uh, the founders are experts of that field. Yeah, and when someone say, "Okay, grandmasters are doing some projects," they are interested. They are contacting me, but whenever I feel that okay, they are just about for making money, I'm not interested in this. Mm -hmm. So the only case that I will accept uh, uh, investor, it will be. If he is in, uh, he's in chess world, if he's a chess lover, he's a big chess lover, and he care about chess lover, he loves chess, that moment it will work. Or he is an investor, but he also loves chess, and money is not a big priority for him. So because our case, yeah, uh, one of the models that take me to here is, uh, I should be sure uh, that I provide two times more value than I charge anyone. So this is my, uh, my motto, and because of that, everything works in my life. Because I, at first, I should be sure that I provide minimum two times more value than I charge him, and I try to provide that value first. Uh, yeah, and because of that, many things in my life works, and I put this in trust mode, and with my team, we decided to go with this way. If investor agree with this, because he said, okay, I, we are not making money, yeah, why you are, you are providing value, yeah? Because if he thinks about money first, he will give this question. But if he cares about chess world, if he cares about giving value first, he will say, okay, guys, let's go, let's do this. So this is the only case if uh, we will uh, accept investors. And uh, when I started this chess mod, it was one of my big dreams that all our marketers, lawyers, accountants uh, will be from our chess mood uh, users or, or customers. Awesome. So already some marketers of uh, from Chessmood, and I hope uh, our future investors will also be from Chessmood. So they will be Chessmood. They will use Chessmood. They will love this, and they will say, "Okay, let's invest this, and let's uh, take makes this Chessmood very big because uh, we can bring so much value to chess world." Awesome. That is great. Um, so uh, before we wrap up, I'm sure everyone's uh, wondering. What about them? You know, everyone, everyone's got that little bit of, of wanting to improve themselves. And so what would you say to them 
for newer players um, that want to be, be a better player? What, what's some advice that a grandmaster can give them? Uh, okay, good question. Uh, it, it, this is probably right now it's a very good chance to share big value with uh, many people. Uh, I will divide this question to two parts, psychology part and chess part. So let's start from psychology part. My uh, first uh, answer, my first uh, suggestion will be to answer the question uh, why and to put uh, certain goals. So for example, someone just started chess. Uh, if we want to get, okay, I want to get 2000 LO, yeah? Okay, this is good. Okay, this is our goal. It's better to have goals than don't have because uh, anytime you need, you need to, the direction, where you go. So, pro, so progress is different than movement. If you have car and you're driving your city, you will not get anywhere. But if you know, okay, from this, I am going to that city, you know the, your direction and you will get there. So the first thing to have go. Uh, and the second answer, the question why. Because if you have very strong uh, answer to question why, why you want to get $2,000 or why you get uh, to what you want to become grandmaster, and your unsubconscious mind will do lots of work with for you. Whenever even you sleep, your subconscious mind will do work for you. So this will help a lot. Of course, if you don't have goal, it's also fine. I mean, I, I see many chess players; they don't have any goal and uh, they just enjoy to play chess. I said, I, I don't want any goal. I just enjoy to play chess. It's also fine. So that time, let's uh, um, move to the. Uh, chess related part. If someone wants to improve, uh, my uh, first advice is to find uh, trustworthy sources to learn. Mm. Uh, my, if you want to become like, if you want to become a millionaire, the best person whom you can, from whom you can learn, it's a millionaire. Mm. If you want to become grandmaster, the best uh, way you can learn is to, to learn from grandmaster, to learn from someone who has already passed that way that you want to pass. So you want to become grandmaster, but you don't have any grandmaster friends, but you have master friends who is playing much better than you. Still, you have very good source from whom you can get lots of advices. It will be big shortcuts. So my first thing is uh, find trustworthy sources to learn. Find uh, good chess players who are ready to give, uh, to answer your questions. Find good chess uh, uh, Facebook groups. Find uh, good chess books. Find good, uh, if you don't want uh, to pay for something, find uh, free YouTube video channels where there are lots of value, yeah? Find, uh, but find right, uh, right sources to learn, yeah? Uh, also, uh, if you really don't know and you'll say, okay, you are coach, I'm asking you. Uh, hey, uh, Jim Avdik. Uh, I ask you where to learn. Uh, there are many, many places. Uh, first, uh, what we are doing in chess mode, I'm, cr I'm trying to create uh, something else that it's not existed yet. Because if it's existed, that I would not uh, du duplicate it, yeah? So uh, we created that 20 hours of courses. Uh, but also uh, we are right now, uh, I'm thinking to create, and I already started that work. Uh, to create a big uh, uh, video content for beginner players. And I'm thinking to give it all free for our chess boot members for chess world. Wow. Yeah, I'm thinking to give around like, it will be more than 10, 10 hours, sure. It will be a big work, but I'm ready to do that and give it for free. As I said, yeah, I am always trying to give a two time minimum, minimum two time more value than I charge and I try to give that value first. I'm thinking to give that to Chess World because uh, the video content we have already created, I found out that it's very, very useful for most of the people. But there are some players who are playing weaker than this and it's a bit uh, tough for them. So I am uh, creating a starter course for beginners and anyone who wants just to learn what's going on there and to give it for free. So awesome. if you sign up, sign up there. It's not just advertisement. Yeah, <laughs> it's, I really, there is so much value. If I said 10 hours video course, I uh, sell it probably should be many hundreds of dollars. But I'm thinking to give it for free for Chess World. So just sign up there. It will be super, super video. And our group, our Chess Mode group, it's also there are so much value. All questions are getting answers minimum by any our grandmasters. Or if uh, someone else uh, 
provide uh, very good answers and we don't answer it, we just like that, that answer, yeah? So this is very good uh, source to learn. If you are thinking about uh, what, uh, what books, what chess books to read, uh, again, um, I can go here very deep to tell all books, uh, there are lots of good books, but in our uh, chess mode we have, uh, we created a section, it's called We Recommend, and we recommend there are many books. It's like you go to doctor and he give you medicine. Uh, depends on your uh, what what is what is your sickness? Yeah, it's your heart is problem or your head is problem. Yeah, so they I recommend many books if your problem is the opening, if your problem is middle game, and if your problem is end game. So for each problem, they uh, we offer a different book. So uh, we have a great uh, page, it's called We Recommend in Chess Mode, where you can find uh, what we recommend. There are books, there are videos, there are YouTube channels. So from it, is, it will be a very good point for you to start. Like we recommend other people who are doing good, uh, good job in chess world. Because our mission is not like, okay, chess mode should be the first, yeah. Our, our world is to, be, to uh, bring lots of value to chess world. And if someone else, the, the, in spite of us, also doing a good job and he's really providing good value to chess, uh, investor can think that uh, he's our competitor. I'm not thinking so. I'm thinking he's our friend. So I'm, uh, I'm fr open to help him as well and to share him because he's doing a good job for chess world. So he's not my competitor, he's my friend. We have the same mission, how he, why he is my competitor. I'm, don't, I'm not thinking so. So in our page that we recommend, we, hear, we uh, uh, refer and recommend uh, people who are doing good job in chess world. Awesome. Uh, so this question is like, uh, learn, uh, start to learn from trustworthy sources. Start to learn from trustworthy sources. Awesome. Well, I appreciate you giving us uh, your time today. Uh, you've given us lots of great information. I look forward to your book coming out. I'm already a member of your site, and uh, I also recommend people should go check it out. But uh, um, I think uh, we have a lot of good things coming for the chess world, and I really yes. appreciate it. Uh, yes, Jay, you, you are welcome, and uh, thank you too for this, for this opportunity to share my thoughts with chess world. And it would be amazing if uh, tomorrow, after one month or after years, Someone write me, you know, I become grandmaster, or I got uh, to my goal after I hear your interview. This would be just amazing. This would be super. So thank you for this opportunity as well, and thank you, thank you for uh, being our ch everything. How it started? Yeah, you were our chessboard members, and you become our chessboard pro member. I uh, I would love if our other members was people like you who want to improve in chess, who take who take their fair advantage. Of being our member, but also his uh, learning and sharing this knowledge which which with others. So uh, thank you for all for everything you do. Uh, thank you that you grow yourself. You know, yeah. When I say that my goal is my students' goals, mm -hmm. so thank you for making my goals <laughs> because <laughs> your goal is my goal. And thank you that you are taking care so much for chess world and you are open to share knowledge to uh, provide uh, so much value to others as well. Uh, one, of the, one, one of the problems, one of the not problems, funny things happened with us when we created that video courses. At first, it was I give it all for free, and I thought that people will share this this big big value. That was twenty hours of video courses from grandmasters. But what happened? It was versa versus. Uh, one day, uh, I got a nice message from some guy from USA. He wrote, "You know, I'm going and playing in our club." And with your, with your courses, I am crushing everyone. It's so cool. And I hope long time nobody will know about Chessmood. <laughs> 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 because this is so, such a strong weapon was for him. And if his uh, colleagues also with whom he is playing also know about this, he would not dominate them uh, in, in the game. Yeah. So that I hope long time people will don't know that. So that time I thought, oops, there is some problem. People, we give so much value, it's become such a strong weapon. So people don't share with each other. And automatically I started to appreciate more people who took that all value and they also share with each other. So thank you one more time for that, for being so great. 
Absolutely. Well, we have the same mission, and that's to to grow the chess world and share as much as we can. So true, true, true. So I I thank you again for your time, and uh, we'll look forward to doing some more of this in the future. Yeah, sure. And anyone who hears this uh, interview, feel free to add me in Facebook and uh, write me any question or or in our chess mode. Yeah, you you have some question. Or it's, you suggest that you want to hide. Welcome, welcome. Every day I'm giving many hours to answer every, all, not all, only all my friends' messages, but also many in nature uh, who just write me. I give every day hours uh, to answer all of them. So feel free. Awesome. Feel free to so take that. I'll be putting your information down below in the comments. Uh, so like, subscribe, go visit. Yes, yes, sure, sure. And uh, thanks, everybody. And we'll, uh, we'll see you next one. Yeah.